stage in this particular area, it appears that it, it is very possibly a, an adult. Aaron Collier, child calling for mum. Did you hear that, Aaron? Apparently they've been hearing um, a child's cry coming from this room. Yeah, just before the phone went off, still hearing Chica's voice. I'm wondering if these are voices that have been projected straight into the electronics of the phone. So we are hearing with our ears, but the phone is picking up like an end piece that you record and pick it up. interesting to listen to it, um, yeah. because I mean, I've, I've had my headphones on up here and, and I have not heard mm. any of that at all. Mind you, I have been talking, maybe if I just shut up I'd probably <laughs> hear it. But maybe it's been transferred electronically somehow. But lots of people are saying that, possibly something mimicking a child for a response. Yeah, I mean... Could it be the camera going... Could it be this? Oh, yes. Now, is this the sound you're hearing? Aaron just said, was a young child just now by recalling out for mum? And then Lou's like... I definitely heard a child calling mum too. That's actually really interesting because during one of my one of the investigations here earlier, I'd actually got I left a recorder upstairs by itself and I've actually got a, a child calling for mum as well. Um, however there is always a possibility that that could be outside, so we probably need to go and check outside. Okay, they're saying that um, it's not your camera that they're hearing. So it's not the sound that you heard, this? That's the lens retracting in my camera? No, they said no, no. I mean, they're all saying no. No? Okay. All of them, all of them, like Joe and... Cool. Um, everyone, thanks, everyone thanks guys. No. Oh, yep, that's good. Okay. That's well, really good. We'll be able to listen to our, um, our feed and see. Um, okay, so you're all hearing a child. Someone's just saying that might be the door squeaking. There wasn't really a door, I mean... Okay, what? Well, really, anyone's upstairs, aren't we? Uh, Joshua's going to check outside. I have been. Um, thanks, Josh. Okay, well, I'll go and squeak that door and see if... Which door could be The door when um, when Sam came up. Oh. It's worth a try. Sam, did you see the photo of yeah, the blood coming out of the tap? I did, yeah. <laughs> the tap one was all red you know, oh, awesome horror movie music. That was fantastic. Okay, that's Barbara opening and closing the door. Is that the sound you heard? No. Session. <laughs> all based around this room, just because I've got everything set up downstairs, like yeah. all my equipment. It's always the way. Yeah. The room that you not set up in is the yeah. most Yeah, in the past we've I've had like lots of things set up in here. But mm. Okay, so was that not no? Okay, my so Pauline's got my sister says, Barbara, there was no child calling out, it was a door squeaking. <laughs> yeah, no, wait, hang on, but then Joe says no, not the camera. Not a cat. Is 
then it wasn't the door. Um, just for for the benefit of, of you people who who haven't actually been on followed one of these investigations before, it's really really beneficial to actually wear a pair of headphones because you hear everything way 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 clearer. And it's quite amazing things that you don't hear at all when you're just listening um, through your normal computer speakers. Put a, a pair of headphones on or a pair of earplugs in even, won't be as good, but that will be um, improve the sound quality massively. Um, because so many people have said that they can have heard clearly a child calling out mum, I'll, um, I'll maybe just try and focus on that for a few minutes and see if we can get some sort of response there. Um, is, is, there a, is there a little child here? Are you here? Are you looking for money? Marcus, I heard a child speak. Yeah. I did. Are you looking for money, sweetheart? Oh my gosh. So I it's, coming, it. it's coming through electronically. It's coming through electronically. Yeah. It's coming through my thing. Okay. It's okay. in my headphones and a child said, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm wearing headphones. I'm not hearing it. I heard it clearly. Okay. Maybe it's because the father's not asking the question. Could be, yeah. Okay. And just on the record, I don't have headphones on, so I can't hear anything. Sam has headphones Did on. On his own recorder. And Barb has her headphones on, thinks it's a her recorder. Okay, the, we've had confirmation that... Others are hearing it as well. So it's been transmitted electronically. Is anyone else hearing? Oh, the other people have heard the. Did anyone else hear that when I when I spoke to to whoever is here? Um, did anyone else hear a child say yes? So it's, it's really real. It is real, Stevie. I promise you that. Okay, um, are you still here, sweetheart? Are you looking for mummy? I'm not hearing anything now. No, I think I'll just, uh, just change the cubicle of my photo to you, but I'll just uh, see if more in the picture. Come over here, sweetheart. Come over here. I'm just trying to... I'll just turn this camera in a bit. Alan heard it. Okay. Okay. Come over here. Come and talk okay. with me. Do you know where Mummy went? Are you still here, honey? Don't be scared. Come and talk to me. Over here, sweetheart. Come over here. I think I've just heard something again then. Where are you? <coughs> Come over here. Okay. Come over here and talk to me. We'll help I'll help you find mummy.
Are you still here? I presume there's someone out there. Is someone out in the hallway? Well, we've heard them come through the door. I heard that. I heard. I did hear that. There's definitely movement there's, there's out there. There's footsteps right? outside. Yeah. Filming this now. I'm high quality. I want to make sure it's captured. Okay, it's complete. I'm, I'm not actually hearing this. I mean, I just heard it so clearly, like to, to start with, the first two times that I spoke to the chi child. I absolutely heard them to speak. I heard them speak, and I'm not hearing it anymore. Like nobody is up here. Okay, definite movements out in the hallway, yeah. and we've had definite movements um, all night, really. We'll mark that. Um, <sighs> sounded like something was out there. Yeah, definitely did. We all heard it, and Joshua's just said, still downstairs. Okay. No, no, there's no one there. Um, we don't know what happened to the little boy. It's, it's, I can't, I can't say whether it sounded like a little boy or a little girl, the one that I heard. Are you looking for mummy? Are you still here, sweetheart? Yep. What the hell was that? I heard that. I heard that. That was definitely a mummy. It was, are you looking for mummy? It sounded like me. It's not the feed, it's not live feed as it's playing back up now. It's not the tablet. I haven't got the song. My sound's off. Because I heard it from my end of it where I hear. Unless the sound's on. My sound is off. Hang on. Just let me... Well, that's all I'm. Your mind's not right off. <laughs> okay. So, so volumes are definitely down? Yep. Obviously. Yep, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's like a lion throw it. Sweetheart, are you looking for mummy? Because it sounds like it's quite a long way away. It doesn't sound like it's like in this room. Where's Marlene? She's just watching. Don't be frightened. Who's frightened? <laughs> okay, um, sweetheart, don't be scared. Come and see us. Did you hear someone move something then? It's me, I just moved my arm. Oh, okay. What's wrong? Bit of a thumb? Well, it's inside of me. Oh. My arm's all right. <laughs> Are you still here?
Are you still here, sweetheart? Can you tell us your name? My name's Sam. And my name's Barbara. That's the one coming up. My name's Mark. Hello. It was so freaky, those first two. Um, those first two things that the child said was just clear as a bell in my head. Is everybody up here now, or is it? Is the job here as well? Hmm? Did you hear it, Molly? You seem to hear it. It's clear as a bell. Is everyone yep. upstairs now? Mm. Real, real loud. Mm. We, like we heard, yeah, we heard it. Even Mark heard such I heard, I don't know headphones, but I heard it coming from, I think, through Sam's headphones. I think I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> 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 Sam, you can hear that. When I called out and said, maybe a little scared of so many in the room now. Yeah, it might be. But that's okay, because... Maybe men in the room might be intimidating. Perhaps the men should leave. Mm. Might be more of a woman thing, perhaps. <laughs> oh dear, you can tell Mark's got no kids, eh? It's like, oh, this could be a woman thing. Well, yeah, there's, yeah. there's a kid calling for mummy. Yeah, no, <laughs> might be, might be, I mean, it might be a different thing. We'll hear all angles. <laughs> Can you tell us, are you not feeling very well? Are you feeling sick? Um, just in response to the visit, Holden's Rock. No, not shaken, more just really pleased to actually hear something through the headphones. And you don't know how many hours we spend doing this, and, and it's actually very rare to, to hear anything as clearly as, as what I heard when I heard that child speak. So that was always more excitement than being scared. And just for the record, we aren't one of those groups that jump at every little sound that we hear, and we're not flaky, we're not sort of flaky folks that um, where everything is a ghost and every sound is a ghost. Um, we really have to have to think about it, and we would not say it sounds like a child if it didn't sound like a child. And I mean, we'll definitely be. I mean, we're not definite. We are definitely not saying it's a ghost child in the room with us or anything. I mean. We will be going through and listening to it. We've all got our own recorders going, so we'll be analysing that very, very closely. And um, if we can possibly debunk it, we will be, because there's a lot of things, well, quite a few things that it actually could be, you know, feedback, or we'll be checking um, other recordings that from videos and and from audio recorders that we've got around the building to see whether that has also caught something. Oh, that was me. I was, I was, <laughs> I was breathing in. Sorry. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try not to. Breathe in, Sam. There's a time and place for breathing. Because, of course,
course, the thing is that if, if say, the downstairs recorders have re also recorded a child calling and it's louder, it could definitely, it would possibly mean that there's a child at a nearby house calling out for money and it's just been coincidental that we've heard it and I've been talking to the child of the house next door. So yeah, we'll, we would very closely analyse everything that we've heard until we can actually um, make a, a full judgement on it. But at this stage, I mean, although I'm talking to something, um, it may be absolutely nothing. But I prefer to talk to nothing rather than not try and, and not get anything at all. Um, are you still here? You can get you can get out of bed and come and talk to us if you want, sweetheart. Mummy said it was okay. Are you still with us? Where are you, sweetheart? It's really interesting actually that, you know, this time it appears to be a child because, I mean, now we've had like a woman moaning, a man moaning and a child speaking. Mm -hmm. Plus various thumps, bangs, movements, and all this is happening because I've got people things set up downstairs. Yes. Okay, well is there anybody else here? We're wondering if you can help us. We'd really appreciate it if you could just yell out your name as loudly as you possibly can. Just really yell it out. Give it everything you've got and just yell it out when I count to five, okay? We go one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes you would take a really deep breath. You look kind of 
I don't know. Okay, how many? Uh, well, I thought it might have been a car or something. Mm. See if the guys should stand outside the room and see what happens. We did that earlier, actually. Um, and it wasn't, yeah, there, I mean, there were definite movements and noises heard outside the room, and we were hearing them in here. Um, okay, now listen. Please, just take a really deep breath and breathe out. Remember how that feels? Like, and your lungs fill up and then you breathe out and then as you breathe out, see if you can make a noise. Can you, we'd really, really like to know what your name is. Can you please just call <laughs> your name out? Did you hear something? My name's Sam. I'm Madeline. I'm Mark. And you are... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Mark always does it. He can't keep still. It's like... <laughs> Just need cameras and things. Just things around. <laughs> Yeah, but even if you weren't doing cameras and things, you'd still be wriggling and... Um, My name is Jeff. There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> Are you excited for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Only a couple of weeks left to Christmas. What would you like? Oh, jeez. It was while we were talking about Christmas earlier that we actually got a response from, it sounded like a, a woman. Christmas is only a few few weeks away actually. In fact it's two weeks and one day. Yeah. Movement out in the hallway. Yeah. Definite movement out in the hallway. Was um, it out in the hallway or? Oh Josh. So Josh is here now? I didn't hear the door. It's like. So we're all upstairs now? I didn't hear the door close. I didn't hear the door squeak or... Are you there, Josh? Yeah. Okay. Very stealthy, Josh. Very stealthy. No, the wheelie bin sound that you heard um, is actually a train, Aaron, which we, we heard earlier and kind of thought it sounded like a trolley or something like that, but when we heard it um, again, we checked outside and it's, it's a train. Has anyone heard the child again recently? I haven't heard a, him at all. Music? Music? Yeah. Could be the party. Jesus, the whole lot We 
would you like to hear a Christmas song? Any particular song you'd like us to play for you? Are you going to sing them a song, darling? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that seems to have all stopped. Okay. Okay, we should quickly, while Matt's not here, tell us your name, please. Before he comes back. What was that? Did anyone hear it? Mm -hmm. It might have been my stomach. Oh, okay. I'm not too sure though. Oh, okay. I feel can as though I'm the victim of that one. <laughs> can you do, can you say it again, please? Before Mark comes back. <laughs> okay, Sam, sing jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I'm still going, not hearing the child anymore. Okay, if you give us some kind of sign, any sign, I will sing. Jingle bells for you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was Barbara, in case anyone was wondering. moaning earlier. Are you still here? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, gosh, I yawned in there. It's the motion sensor goes off. Are you excited about Santa coming? Come on, come and let us know that you're here. Two, three, four. 
Is he still someone in the hallway? facing the ball. Is that you I just heard? See? The torch? Yep. What's happening? The torch is flickering, the one that's facing the ball. My torch. The new battery. Ah, oh, okay. Is that you doing it to the torch? I think I just heard that knocking again. Did you knock? Can you make that noise again, please? Can you make that torch turn off? Can you knock again, please? That was me. That was my thought. Red tummy. Oh, my goodness. You're looking at me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was more. Did you hear them? <laughs> Are you here? Hi, Leon. One knock for yes and two knocks for no. Leon, there's a ball here if you want to come and play with it.
Yeah, if there's a, um, a helicopter buzzing around by, that's what you can hear. Leon, if you're here, it's okay to come out. Remember we were here a couple of weeks ago? Well, it's us again. You can come and talk with us again if you like. No one's going to hurt you, sweetheart. Who's that? Sounds like a stomach. It does, yeah. Oh, okay. Whose stomach was it? Because to me it sounded like someone said hello. <laughs> it was somebody's stomach saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> was it your stomach, Sam? I don't know. I don't it think it was. It didn't, didn't feel it. <laughs> I just heard a clicking sound. I just thought it was a clicking sound. There was a click. I thought it was one of you. Nope. It was my stomach. I thought I heard a child's voice. Is that you again? That was my stomach that time. Okay, I was actually going to claim that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have it if you want. <laughs> but that I'm not claiming. I haven't no. done anything. Um, okay, we'll try that again, shall we? Is it Leon or is it someone else? Can you do this? Mark it. <laughs> Someone said you need to stay focused. Well, you do, you do. Come on, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want us to bring along for you next time we come back? Anything you'd like to see? What about an ice block? Do you want an ice block next time we come? Or some lollies? Or what about...
about a new toy? Do you like toy cars? Oh, what about a new bike? Bikes are cold. What was that? I'll get my headphones. Actually, I'll just like hold on to Rob. I can tell you that quite often we have um, unusual uh, like successes when we've actually stopped investigating it and when we just perhaps just start talking because nothing's been happening and so we just have a chat and then quite often um, that's when things will start happening. It's almost like the spirits will kind of be a bit annoyed that we've stopped looking for them and that we start talking amongst ourselves and um, that's when they'll actually start making themselves known. And it's not an uncommon thing to happen. Is anyone still here? That was me. <laughs> Anyone else does hear a voice there? No. It might have, I just kind of moved. Or was it more voicey? Mm, it was more voicey. Might have been outside though. Okay, market. What about stories? Do you, do you like the story? What kind of stories do you like? The three little pigs? Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a, in a house with their mum. And they grew and they grew and they ate so much that finally their mum says, there's no room for you three little pigs in my house. And so you will have to go out and get your own homes. So the three little pigs tootled off down the road, each one to get their own home. The first little pig came to a man who was selling straw. And the little pig said to the man selling straw, Please can I buy some of your straw so I can build a nice house? <laughs> and the man selling the straw said, of course you can have some of my straw, but this will not build a very strong house. But the little pig, he still did it anyway, and he built this house, and he had just finished, and he lay down for a nap, and there was a... on the door. And it was the big bag log. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig said, no way, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the big bad wolf said, well, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And that's what he did. And the little pig ran away. So the second little pig, he was walking down the road and he came to a man selling sticks. So the man with the sticks stopped and the little pig said, please may I buy some of your sticks so I can build a house? And the man selling the sticks said, well, you can have some of my sticks, but it's not going to build a very strong house. But he, he wanted it anyway, so he bought the sticks off the man and he built a house made of sticks. And so then he was going, went to have a lie down and had to have a rest. And there was a, how does it go? There was a, at the door. 
And who was it? It was the big bad wolf. And he said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig said, No way, not by the hair of a chinny chin. Chin. Mark it. Mark it. <laughs> No way, not by the hair of my chinny chin. Chin. So the big bad wolf said, Well, I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house down. And that's what he did. Well, the third little pig went the furthest and he had walked a long way when he came to a builder with us who had a whole heap of bricks. And he said to the builder with the bricks, Please, may I buy some of your bricks to build up the new house? And the builder said, Of course, you will build a nice, fine, strong house with these bricks. So he worked very hard and he built a very fine, strong house with these wonderful bricks. And he went inside and he put the pot on and put some turnips in the pot and was just about to have a rest when he looked out the door. And there was his two brothers, there were his two brothers running down the road towards his house, being followed by that meany wolf. And he called out to his brothers and said, Come here, come here, you can see in my house. So they ran into the house and they slapped that door closed. Well, the big bad wolf jumped on the roof. And he called down the chimney, Little pigs, little pigs, you let me come into your house. And they said, do you remember what they said? They said, No, not by the hairs on my chin chin. And that wolf said, Well, I'm going to huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed. And he puffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he tried, and he tried, and he tried, and he couldn't blow the house down. So he yelled down the chimney, if I can't blow your house down, I'm going to come down this chimney, and I'm going to eat you up. So he jumped down the chimney, and he landed in the boiling pot of turnips. <laughs> Almost as good as Susie can take. Thank you. Oh, it's funny, Mark. Would you like to have other kids here?
Yes, my stomach's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, come on, anyone, if there's any child here, or any woman, or any man, or just anything, please do something to let us know. Should we move the camera around? Where is it? Oh, to what? Um, oh, to? Move it facing the... For us. Witchy poo, witchy poo. There you go, Sam. Hey. There you go. I'm, I'm just not as good at storytelling as you, Barbara. <laughs> Did, does anyone else want to come in and sit in there? Good. I'm just waiting for it to catch up. Oh. Talk to us, please, or give us a sign, touch the ball, touch the light. Can you make the torch flicker again? You can take the energy from the batteries and the torch.
Is it difficult for you to communicate with that? Does it take a lot out of you? Would you like us to leave? Are you scared of us? If you want us to leave, you're going to have to make something happen. Can you try and move the ball in the middle of the room? Can you tap for us on the wall or the roof? Can you give us any kind of sign that you can hear us? If there's anyone in the room, can you make any sort of sound for us at all? I want you to move your car so Josh can get out. Josh is moving. We're going to start winding down this very soon, um, so we'll give it a few more minutes and uh, maybe the next sort of 10 15 minutes we'll start winding up and packing up and getting ready to go.
Is there anyone still in the room with us? That that's helping create some of the noise. Come in and join us again. It's just the boys now. If you'd like to come in and talk to us. He's still in the room with us. Are you still looking for your mum? Are you lost? Are you still looking for your mum? I think what you might be hearing is the camera. Oh, they're hearing clicking? They're hearing, uh... Is that? Yeah, they, I think they might be hearing that. Okay.
can do it do it again. Let's see if it makes the noise again. With the camera. They're still saying it's not the camera, it's definitely a kid, clear as day. Okay, I'm not I'm not hearing it myself, but we'll have to go back to the footage later on and have a look. So you're not hearing it electronically? Not this time around, no. I'm hearing your camera. Okay, can somebody please describe what you're hearing? We're trying to figure out if the sounds that we're hearing are somehow being transmitted electronically, like directly into our equipment, which is possibly why you guys are hearing it as well. It's transmitting it directly into our uh, recording device, the phone, which is recording this video. Does it actually sound like a, um, a young boy or a young girl or is there a, an accent? Does it sound like a Kiwi accent? Um, is there anything about the voice that you can tell us? Is it high pitched? Would it be an older age child or is it a very young child or is it a, a squeaky little thing? I've been outside, there are definitely no children out there, there's no sounds of any parties going, the parties have finished now, uh, there's no music, there's no voices, it's pretty quiet, the only sound I heard out there was a helicopter in the distance, which in a plane, and just traffic off in the distance. me. Tonight. Yeah, it's gone really quickly, eh? Well, I suppose it's when you... When nothing's happening, it seems to drag, but when... Mm. When things happen, you kind of... Quite shocked to look at the clock down there, and it's like one o'clock. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe quite close to 12, perhaps. First, if you can put the camera right up to the live feed camera and, and do the noise there, see if it makes the sound. Do what you want. Yeah. All right. <coughs> this is my camera. I may hear this from time to time during our investigations. This is the sound it makes when I turn it on. And it's retracting. Was 
sounds you're hearing? Uh, Holden's Rock says no, that's not the sounds I heard. Mm. I think that's Barbara Downs says that we're going into it. Yeah. 